what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm gonna start installing new bushings on the leaf springs shackles get the new bolts installed get that mocked up on the frame see where i'm at with the uh, c-notch see if i'm still centered if not i'm gonna have to move it over towards the back and then once i get that once i get that centered i can start cutting my c-notch uh putting in the new bolts installing my shocks uh, installing the u-bolts and get everything put together and hopefully i get it all done today so you guys make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so please do so it's free it doesn't cause anything help my channel grow help me out with that being said let's get it Well, there you have it guys got the upper bolts for the shocks installed now all i gotta do is bring that rear axle underneath here line up my uh, leaf springs put the bolts on it mock it up and then raise the axle up make sure that i'm actually centered and if i'm not i'm gonna have to move it over so yeah let me get going Alright guys, I'm going to start putting this uh, drive shaft back together. I don't know if I said it already, but these bolts right here are 11 millimeters. There you go guys, rear axle and drive shaft installed. Now I get my leaf springs mocked up and keep going. Alright guys, so before I start putting this leaf springs, mocking it up on the truck, I gotta remove this uh I gotta flip this uh center center pin. It's like a locating pin. Since the leaf is going to go on the bottom, this center pin right here needs to be on top. So I've got to take this out, flip it. And I'm using a 14 millimeter socket. I probably use like some kind of vice grips to hold this so it doesn't spin. Put some clamps here first so it doesn't open on me. And then go from there.
All right, guys, I got the I got the nut off. It's time to come out. I gotta flip it the other way. Like that. Start tying up the nut, and it should be should be ready. And after this, I'm gonna start putting in the uh, urethane bushings, and we can start mucking up everything on the truck. guys I got the locating pin flipped over to the top that's where I want it now I'm gonna start putting in the bushings make sure this is clean all that is clean and then I'm just gonna start adding some my own grease just for the inside and then use this bolt this uh, bushings come with the grease already but I'm gonna use it just for these bushings and uh, yeah, let me get started. And then after that, I can start mocking up these parts on the on the frame to see where I'm at with the uh, C-notch. Here you go, guys. It comes with eight big, the big bushings. These big ones are gonna go for the leaf springs. And you got the small ones for the shackle. So you put one on each side. And you grab this, you run it through. That's gonna stay inside. Do the same thing for all of them.
and just like that guys that easy I'll put the rest in time lapse you guys enjoy So before I put the leaf springs in, I think I'm going to take these bolts off again on the rear axle. Get the drive shaft out of there. So that way this whole thing is moves freely. And then I can start putting the U-bolts and all that. And then hopefully everything lines up. And then I'll put it back together. guys and one little tip real quick inside here where the bushings go with the lift spring make sure you put some grease uh, out here on the outer on the inside of this area where the bushing is gonna sit even around the bushing area on the outside because it's gonna rub right here make sure you put some grease on it or else you're gonna it's gonna be squeaking when you're driving you don't want that so I basically did the same thing with this I added grease on the inside so this moves around suspension moves around it's not you're not hearing a whole bunch of squeaking noises so make sure you put some grease in there just a quick little tip so I got the rear axle off and the drive shaft so I've got this part right here see how oh, that one has two holes okay so this is the back of the truck looking down you see that locating pin that I had to uh, switch uh, switch around this one right here so from what I seen online I'm gonna put it on this first hole right here not the center one to this one right here in the on the, on the far right put that on top over over that locating pin so supposedly when the truck is lowered it mo it pushes the rear axle this way so me putting that in that hole pushes this part far back towards towards where it's supposed to go so I'm going to try that first and see how it lines up.
right guys so i'm gonna show you real quick i was having problems putting this that plate underneath hopefully you guys can see so if you see this here this bolt right here you got two holes on this plate so you gotta make sure you line it up and it goes right through and make sure your your uh u bolts are sit going sitting straight down and if it sits straight down and it fits in that hole that's where you want to be at so now i gotta tighten up these bolts and uh do the other side all right guys so i found an issue when i was getting these nuts bolted you guys can see right here this bolt right here that's where my rear shot goes so if i bolt this all the way up it's gonna hit that bolt right here so that means i won't be able to put my rear shock in so i gotta take this off again install my rear shock and then i can put this back up so yeah just want to point it out There you go guys I got both sides done I'm not bolting this one on yet put the drive shaft and the rear axle together seemed like it's looking good I'm gonna drop it down and see how I'm doing on the uh, center here so I can start cutting right there guys see where I had marked it up already so I'm gonna have to move it over that way to get it more centered let me check the uh, driver side looks like the driver side as well I have to move it over right there to my right it's just a little bit more and it should be centered and I can start cutting
All right, guys, so I'm going to start working on the C-notch. Start getting this uh, centered, marked down. And now uh, this is the tools I'm going to be using. Get that, get that centered. So let's get it. There you go guys I got my center point got the measures here's where the axle ends fall in measure my centered I got my center measured on my uh, C notch all I gotta do is line it up where the center is right there mark it down from the bottom and then start cutting As you can see I don't know if you guys can see my hands in the way but it's it looks pretty centered so I'm gonna start uh, marking this down on the bottom and I can start cutting Alright guys, so I got everything marked up where I'm going to cut. I still have to cut a little more up, but I'm going to take it slow so that way I can get a, try to get a perfect fit so it doesn't have a big gap in there. I don't want to cut too much. So I'm going to do the same thing to the driver's side. got everything marked down ready to cut I did put two jack stands in the back got two in the front two yellow ones and my jack right here in the middle holding the rear axle for support so when I start cutting I don't want this frame to move or bent somehow so I got that secure and now I'm gonna start cutting
All right, guys, real quick. These uh, bolts and the nuts are 19 millimeters. I did drill this hole and this hole just to set this in, tying these down. Now I'm gonna start drilling the rest of the holes and put the nuts and the uh, and the bolts in. So this is how it goes in. Just like that. Washer over here, washer on the outside. And then for the inside, you got this lock washer that goes in first and then you're not guys that's the uh, passenger side I took it off painted it and put it back together I just got to tighten up the bolts just want to show you real quick where I'm at now I want to get done with this uh, gotta put the, the bump stop underneath there and then I'm gonna start working on the driver's side All right, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching my videos all the way to the end. If you've done so, thank you. Thank you very much. So appreciate you. And uh, like I said before, subscribe to my channel. Give me a big like. Comment down below. Anything you want to say, just say it down below. I won't get mad. <laughs>